Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will be giving you an overview of how to set up your pages and the overall site on the Sparkle application. So you're mostly going to be working with this left panel over here which shows you your page layout. Your first page which will be your home page uh, will always have the name index.html over here. You can change this to say home as well which will make it easier uh, later on when you're doing menus. What you're first going to want to do is select a color scheme for your project. For this tutorial I'm going to show you a few different options for backgrounds. The first and most popular option is just the singular color background color. You can select a main color, a neutral color, or a wireframe color. Additionally, you can change it to whatever color you'd like from this picker below, or if you have a hex value, you can enter that right here. I'm going to leave it for white or as white right now. Additionally, you can use a background pattern. So these are all preset and they can either move with the page or be in a fixed position. And I'll show you what that means in a sec. Uh, first, I'd like to show you all of the pre-uploaded uh, backgrounds that comes with uh, Sparkle. There are dozens and dozens of different ones you can choose from. Uh, for now, I'm just going to choose the rocky wall. Uh, so for the fixed position uh, aspect of this option, I'm going to show you what that means. So we're going to place some text right here. I'm just going to say example uh, text. Text. I'm going to increase the size uh, to 48 and I'm going to center that. So that's now centered in the page. Uh, now it is not checked off and I'm going to go to the preview over here, select Safari and open live preview. So, so since it's not in a fixed position, uh, what's going to happen is your background will move with the text. So as you see, the background is moving uh, as this, at the same pace as the text element. However, if we check off fixed position, we can go back to this preview. Uh, and what will happen is that the the text and the elements will move, however, the background will not. So as you see, the background is staying still while the text is moving on its own. So that is uh, one feature you can do. Uh, and this leads me to, leads me to the next uh, and last option we have for backgrounds. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to uncheck that. And this last option is a, a picture background. So what we're going to do is click that wide box button up there. I'm going to make this go all the way to the top, and then I'm going to increase the size of it to fit the entire screen. What I've also done is added a uh, wide box additionally at the bottom, and I, I use this to be a footer for the page, and so that will that will show that the, the page has ended. So what we're going to do with this box is go to the content section here. We're going to select image, and then this uh, will allow us to do a, a few different things with an image. So I'm going to add one here, uh, easily go to the desktop and add this image right here. So we can right now see that this is <clears throat> very zoomed in. To fix that, I'm going to click stretch, and that's going to stretch it out uh, so it fits the full length of the page right now. Fit is not going to not going to do you uh, good because this will just fit the entire picture here and leave space on the top and bottom of the picture. So I'm going to do fill so it fills that entire box that we created. Uh, additionally, what I'm going to want to do is blur out this picture because I, I want the majority of the focus of the viewer to be on the actual content of the website. After I've done this, I'm going to add one more wide box, and this is going to go at the top of our website. This is going to be where our menu goes in the, and we'll do that in later videos, as well as a logo for right now. Uh, since I this is a fake website and I don't have a, a real logo created, I'm just going to do some sample text. Um, I'm going to name this website North Tree. So I will type that in right there. And then I will select this and I'm going to change the fonts. Uh, I will do more videos about fonts in the future, but for right now, that's that's what all we'll need. We'll increase the size a little bit to um, around, let's see, that's good, 50 is good. And now we're going to move that over up here. 
So once that step is done, uh, the next step is very important. Since every page will have these three elements, the background picture, the top bar, and the logo right here, we're going to want to make sure that those are in the same positions on every page. So we just select the picture, the background picture, go to arrange, and then select show on all pages. We're going to do this for this bar uh, and the logo as well. Now that those are all selected, we are going to add a few pages to our website. So what I'm going to do is click this add button on the left. I'm just going to go for a blank page because I want each page to be a, a custom page. And as you're going to be able to see right here, all of the same elements were carried on to the, the second page. I'm going to then click this button which duplicates that page as well kind of a similar thing if you want to copy a page all you do is press that bottom corner now what we're gonna do is since I have uh, predetermined the layout of this website I'm going to go in and name each page this is a this is an important step um, for the for for the future of your website uh, it'll make making the menu much easier to do so we're gonna name this second page blog as you see, it then changes the .html name right there as well. This second one, this actually third page, can be called gallery, uh, and that will change the HTML as well. And then this last page can be a contact us page. So make sure those are all typed correctly, uh, as they will help us later with doing the menus. So that is about it for setting up the fake site. There are a few options that you can do, uh, including Google Analytics right here. You just enter your key, as well as you can put a website icon on. Uh, but other than that, that should be it for setting up your website. My next video, I will talk about creating a menu for your site, which will link each page together using a menu bar at the top. I will put it over here. Uh, other than that, if you have questions on this video, please comment that, that down below uh, and check out my previous tutorials in the next one. Other than that, thank you and have a very nice day.